The Ender 5 from Creality. This was sent to me from my friends at Creality, and I really don't know what to tell you about this machine that you haven't already figured out if you just look at the listing for it. It's a Creality machine, which means that it's well built and produces good prints the first time you use it. But it's also a cheap Chinese machine, which means that it's got some questionable design choices. Now, unlike some other Creality machines, this questionable design choice is not that it runs the filament right next to the Z lead screw like other Creality machines. Instead, this one runs all the cables right next to the filament feed system, making if you don't do some cable management, a little bit of a game of twister trying to make sure that the filament is going in around all the cables that are coming out. It's a bit weird, but that's the price, I guess, that you pay for this machine. Now, how do I rate this machine? Well, if I compare it to the Ender 3, it's got a larger build volume, which gives it a bump in capability. It's got a removable build plate. It's got filament out sensor, so that gives it a bump in ease of use. But it does take a hit in ease of use because it's a kit. You have to assemble it. However, it's not a huge hit in ease of use because, well, it's not much of a kit. You're really just building the frame, putting everything in place. All of the electronics are already built for you and, and put into a very nice and attractive case. Now, it's funny because this case has the instructions for doing the build put on it with a sticker. But I guess I'm going to have to peel off later because once you've got it assembled, what do you need the instructions for doing the assembly for? I also wonder how difficult this machine is going to be to maintain later. If I wanted to adjust the stepper motors or, or play with the settings, how difficult is that going to be since they put it all in this case? But I suspect it's not going to be that difficult. Creality has been doing a great job recently of making sure that their machines stay as true to open source as possible. So honestly, all in all, this does come with a recommendation from me. The first print that I ran off of this was one of the test prints on the SD card. It turned out being a cute little piggy bank. You're never sure what it is when you start, but there it goes and I thought, well, this is kind of a worthless piggy bank. I want to do one better. So I pulled out my Sun Lu green filament and I printed Louise Digger's piggy bank. This is her pig that she's turned into a bank with a really cool little screw attachment on the bottom of it. I really love this design. Louise, as always, does a fantastic job. And the Ender 5 did a great job of making it a reality. Wasn't even a single hiccup. There are some strange artifacts in the print, but I think that that's mostly due to the slicer more than the printer because the printer performed admirably. I do have some gripes. I always have some gripes. And with a cheap 3D printer, sure, there's plenty to gripe about. I already said that the cable management is non-existent and could use a little bit of an improvement. Also, the interface is still bare Marlin. And listen, Marlin, I, you know I love you, but I just... I feel like we could do better these days. And a lot of 3D printers, some of them even coming close to this price range and even in this price range, do do better already. So why are we still using Bear Marlin? Of course, you can fix that by attaching Octoprint to it and it might be recommended to do that. So it's a gripe, but it's a gripe that you really can't complain too much about because it's in your power to fix it. There are also some things to praise. Like I said, the inclusion of a, a magnetic removable build plate, flexible magnetic removable build plate, super cool, really big leveling knobs. I absolutely love and respect these leveling knobs. They're just easy to use. And little features like filament out detection. Trust me, it's one of those things that you won't use very often, but when you do, you will be so grateful that it's there. I've been using this like crazy, doing a lot of great prints, and it's been successful with every single one of them. And the Sun Lu filament that I've been putting through it has been performing extremely well as well. And this printer I know is going to give years of good prints to come. So functionally, really good. Overall, big thumbs up from me.
Before we go, check out this cool project on the What You Making channel on my Discord. Why don't you stop by and check out what other cool projects are there. And hey, if you share something you've done, maybe you'll see it in a future video too. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there.